Good morning. This is our reading lesson for this morning, and we're going to talk today about the plot. The word plot describes what happens. It, in our story today, it's going to have a problem and a solution. Remember yesterday, we read chapter one, and on Monday, we read the Super Kids short, The Winner's Mitt, and we learned that Etta Betta wanted to have a new mitt because she was gonna, her team was playing the best team in the league, and she didn't have enough savings. She didn't have enough money to buy the new mitt that she saw in the window. But then Fritz, her super kid friend, said that she could borrow his. And remember what happened? Do you remember? The ball went way, way up, and they won the game. So Etta Betta was super excited. I don't blame her, I'd be really excited too. And now let's look at this picture. This is chapter two, and let's see what happens next. Read along with me. That evening, Etta Betta could hardly sleep. She kept remembering her fantastic catch. I would never have won the game without Fritz's magic mitt, she said to herself. Now let's look at the picture so we can understand the story a little bit better. What's coming out of her head? It's like a thought bubble, huh? She's remembering this great catch. And if you look at her face, she's smiling because she's remembering a good memory. Okay, we're gonna turn the page to 160. Uh-oh, her face changed here. I wonder what happened. Suddenly, she sat up. Fritz's mitt, she said. Oh no, I left it at the ballpark. I must look for it in the morning. Okay, so let's go back to the plot of the story of chapter two. We know that there's a problem and the problem is part of the plot. It's the story that's being told. What happened? What did she forget? She left the mitt at the ballpark. So that is the problem. And her solution so far is to go look for it in the morning. Just as, I, as it got light, Etta Betta went to the ballpark. She looked everywhere for the mitt, but she couldn't find it any place. Not where she thought she left it. So now she has a big problem. This is awful, said Etta Betta. Fritz will be so mad. What can I do? Then she remembered her savings. Maybe I can earn some extra money, then I can buy Fritz the same kind of mitt. Maybe he won't even know that it is not his mitt. Do you think he won't recognize something? I think she'll know. Do you think that she's right, that Fritz will be mad that she lost his mitt? And what is her solution to this? Right, she's gonna try and earn some more money so she can buy him a new mint. Do you think Fritz might realize it's not his mint? I think he'll be able to tell if it's a brand new one. And so we're gonna find out tomorrow. So let's predict. Yesterday we talked about predicting. Predicting is guessing what's gonna happen next in the story. Don't turn the page yet but let's predict what might happen. Do you think Fritz is gonna be mad? Do you think Fritz is gonna notice that she switched mitts on him? Do you think her solution to the problem is going to work? Make some predictions so you're thinking about the story before you start to read tomorrow. Okay, read the story again and practice your words.